Uh, greetings, and thank you for having me at your, uh, your conference. Uh, Barry uh, asked me to speak a little bit about strategy. Um, and if I can have the organizers put up the uh, first slide, I have only three slides, I promise you it won't be much, um, to say, what is a strategy? Perfect. So strategy is choice. Uh, and here are the choices that uh, I find in, in strategy that helps any organization, whether it's your overall organization or any one of the organizations represented by people in this, are more successful if they make this set of five choices. They have an aspiration, a winning aspiration. They make a clear decision on where to play and where not to play. And in that place, how they win, then what capabilities are necessary to win, uh, where they've chosen to play to meet their winning aspiration, and then what and management systems help build and maintain those capabilities to help them win where they've chosen to play to meet their winning uh, aspiration. The key is being choiceful and having all of these choices fit together and reinforce uh, each other. The absolute heart of strategy, next slide, is the where to play, how to win combination, where you decide where you're going to play and how you're going to be better than anybody else in that space. Competition doesn't have to be brutal, right? It only is if everybody chooses the same where to play and everybody chooses the same how to win. Then it is doggy dog, zero sum. If instead all the players in a sphere, like greener arbit arbitrations, uh, pick places within it to play, it can make the world a better place and have everybody uh, succeed. But to make this slightly more concrete, I'll just use an example, next and last slide. This is the world's uh, greatest uh, luxury hotel chain. It's the largest uh, luxury hotel chain in the world, the most profitable luxury hotel chain in the world, the one with the best reputation for, uh, for guest service and the best reputation for treating its employees well. How did it become such a success story, the envy of all in the, in the industry? Well, it's by making choices and choices not to do a lot of things. So it made a choice to be the number one brand in the luxury hotel space globally, and, and it wanted to be the definition of luxury service. So it started out with, with, a, with a high uh, aspiration, which is important for making a difference in the world. But then it's where to play was very narrow. And often when I tell people, oh, you should be careful and, and, and not make your where to play over broad, they, their response is to say, well, then I'll be a small company. No, that's how you get to be a gigantic uh, organization if necessary. And in, in this case, Four Seasons is. They said, we're only going to play in hotel management. They sold off all of their hotel properties. They stopped being a hotel developer, just a hotel manager. That narrowed their focus uh, so that they could be awesome at winning there. Uh, they decided they would be in all key markets for high-end business travelers, that that would, that would be where the hotels are, and at the top of each local market. So they wouldn't have one standard, but they'd say, every market we're in, we need to be the top ho hotel. They chose to win in a different way than their competitors. And again, this is absolutely critical to strategy picking a way to win that is distinct from your competitors. Because if you're not distinct from your competitors, you won't win. You'll create a kind of brutal uh, uh, war of, uh, of attrition and commoditization. So they said, based on founder Izzy Sharp's insight about travelers is that business uh, travelers, which now you are, you as an organization are, 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 are reducing, with, uh, but business travelers uh, don't actually wanna be in luxury hotels. They want to be at home with their loved ones or at the office where they can be more productive. And so what uh, uh, Izzy Sharp said is that we are going to make our service not grand architecture and decor and obsequious service, but service to make up for what you left at home or at the uh, office. And to do that, we need to have medium-sized hotels, not the large hotels that, are, that our competitors uh, uh, have. Uh, that where to play, how to win choice was utterly distinctive. It was backed by capabilities, more knowledgeable and capable staff, so that they have a recruiting process management systems that, that uh, is much more uh, selective. They plan long-term careers in an industry where careers are short, except for uh, uh, four seasons. So they have management systems that enable them to have capabilities 
to deliver this unique form of service in their unique style of hotel to win uh, where they've chosen to play and meet that winning aspiration of being the number one brand in the luxury hotel space and the absolute definition of, of luxury service. That, from my experience in doing strategy for many decades, 40 years, is the secret to success of any organization, picking a where to play, where you can be the best at it. Uh, and if you do that, what tends to happen, as is the case with Four Seasons, others choose different where to plays and different how to wins, and everybody uh, uh, prospers. The worst industries are the ones where Everybody picks the same where to play and how to win. And those are the industries that commoditize and there's a race to the bottom. We want to race to the top. And that is by choosing distinctiveness in your uh, strategies. And I hope for, uh, uh, for your uh, overarching organization and, and, and all the, uh, the individual organizations the, that, that you represent, you will think next time you think about strategy of picking distinctiveness be distinctive and win, you will make the world a better place. Thank you very much and, uh, and have a great rest of your conference.